How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. The project that I'm gonna be doing this week, it's an outer sleeve with a whole bunch of color. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. Si pudiera conocer a tu corazón, sería un placer, más se bien. Yes. It's time. Yes. It's time. Right. Let's see what we have. I didn't even take a look at what you had to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Yeah. Huh. What does I it mean? Do. Oh, so it's talking about space. It's like, you know, uh, kind uh -huh. of like a Leo symbol. Uh -huh. Roots beneath, like sky above, like heavens, you know, where I'm going, earth is mm -hmm. where I am now. And then this is like a. I don't know, it was like an old symbol that I made back when I was like a pagan, mm -hmm. but I'm Christian now, so I like reinterpreted mm. the meaning. Wow. So this you got done when you were 18? Yeah. Okay. It was one of my first tattoos, and I was very specific. I didn't want like a tattoo, it was more like a brand. Or okay. Something. Okay, so on the first stencil that I placed, I just placed it um, how I stenciled it. So it was a perfect circle, everything was a perfect circle. The thing is that as soon as I placed it, because of the shape of the arm, it made the circle look very oval. So what I did is I re-stenciled it. All I did was took the image and I just pushed it. I basically squished it together, that way it created an oval, a horizontal oval. So whenever I placed it here, it became a perfect circle. So now, as you can see now, it looks perfect. Exactly what I wanted to see. Uh, so definitely uh, consider what, like the shape of the body, the shape of the arm, whatever placement you're looking to tattoo, really consider every possibility and make sure that everything looks right. And yeah, if you need to squish it or maybe make it longer, larger, those little things matter because that's gonna make a huge difference on your tattoo. I did the same thing for this one as well, just with the planet here on the bottom. This one, they stay the same, but this one was creating an oval shape as well, so I had to squish it just a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you check it out on the mirror, make sure you like the placement. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it looks awesome. It's gonna be, yeah. Yeah. What a I, stencil too, what a stencil. It looks yeah. so oh. dope. So this is gonna be a two day project. The first thing that I'm gonna do on this project is I'm gonna start with a galaxy here on the top, then start working on the planet and the top. After I'm done with that area, I'm going to start working my way down slowly and see how far we can get today. Uh, I definitely don't want to start where I think I should start, like here on the, on the middle of the arm, just because it's going to prevent me from doing more if I can this, this today. So I want to start here on the middle, then go to the top, then start working my way down. Do you want to take a look at your tattoo before it's gone? No. <laughs> I'm good. You stare at it for how yeah. long? Uh, I don't really look at it. I look at this arm. Yeah. I'm like, eh, yeah, it's over there, whatever. People like ask me about because it it's yeah. such a distinctive line work. I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't want to talk about it. It's embarrassing. Why are you asking me about this shitty tattoo? <laughs> don't bring it up. I know. <laughs> Negativity. <laughs> okay, so all I did right now was do the background and I ended up transitioning the black into my gray just to give it a little bit of a softer look because I didn't want just solid black across the whole arm definitely wanted to give it more variety. Um, so one thing I do want to touch base on on how to go more in detail with is the meteor. Uh, the way I'm going to do the meteor is I ended up doing light gray here. That way I can put my solid black going into my lighter part of that meteor. I'm using my 7 round liner with a voltage of a 5.0 and I'm going to start with the edge here and I want to make sure I, I, I make it look as sharp as I can make it look oh, perfect because I need that to I need this area to have enough contrast to give it that dimension 
that the light source is coming from this side, hitting the meter on the top. Perfect. And I'm using the scribble technique to create those textures inside of the meteor, give it a grainy look. Perfect. I do want to adjust a little bit of the, this area of the meteor, so I'm gonna go a little bit lower. So I feel like it has this arc that it makes it look very straight. So I definitely want more flow to it. There you go. All I'm using here is my solid black. Depending on how I see, when I'm done with this layer of solid black, depending on how I see the meteor, I might add either, either uh, my lightest gray or maybe leave it as is. As I get closer to the solid black area, I am actually gonna sharpen up the corner here of it. And the reason why it is because I wanna leave a tiny little negative space to make it pop. And that's gonna give you more of a, it's gonna allow you to see more. And I make it so plain and so, you know, light to dark, we're gonna have variety of shades. Here we go. Here is me creating a little bit of a negative space right here. And all I'm doing is uh, the scribble technique here, very subtle, not too harsh. I want to build it. Here you go, perfect. I really like this area here, so I'm gonna leave it how it is, because uh, I wanna do more texture on the top here. So as in right now, I'm gonna uh, lightly add texture across the whole thing. That way it is gonna give me the shape of the meteor. And after I'm, I'm done with this layer, I'm gonna be able to figure out where I want more contrast and where it's gonna help me to make this uh, stand out even more. Perfect. Same thing here, I'm gonna leave a tiny little negative space, just enough, and I'm gonna build it. When it comes down to meteors, I would rather have um, create my own meteor than following a reference because I don't feel like references really give me what I'm looking for. So by me looking at a whole bunch of meters, I try to memorize as many as I can. That way I can take pieces of each image that I memorize and build my own. And now that I'm done with the whole thing, I'm noticing that it just, it looks great exactly how it is. So there's no need for me to add light grays to it because it's already super bright. So by adding light grays, it's gonna dim down the whole meteor.
What are you working on today? Un caballito. Un caballito. Yes. ¿Qué canción quieres? Una, una pesada. Una que te acuerdes. Cumbia Kings, güey. Damn, this song. Y dice así. Oh, Cumbia Kings. Ah. <laughs> Hey, hey. Un uh, cumbia aquí. Ah, ah. There we go. Day number two. Mm -hmm. Day two. How was it last night? Did it hurt? Did it... No, it was it was pretty good. You're pretty I, um, relaxed. Yeah, I, I like woke up a little bit sleeping wise, but. Uh huh. The approach that I'm going to be taking today is basically starting from the bottom up. I already did the top yesterday. We went at it for about nine hours or so. And the reason why I want to start here on the bottom is so I can let the top rest at least for the rest of the day. So by the time I reach the top, it's going to be a little bit less sore and a little bit less swollen. Because right now, it's swollen. <laughs> it is very swollen. So definitely throughout the day, I want to navigate, make sure that I'm not irritating the top. So I want to balance out everything by starting on the bottom, working my way up, and yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna begin doing the nose and the first thing I'm gonna do is with my 14 round liner. I'm gonna start blocking in this area here. And I'm using a 14 round liner. Today I'm using the brand from Higher Level and you guys can find it on their website. Um, definitely liking the performance here. It's very consistent with the vibration. And I like how firm the needle is. Pretty awesome. All right, perfect. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna graph my 11 curve Mac, running my machine at 5.0, like I always do with every single tattoo. Short strokes, just so I can make sure that I have time and layers to uh, build it up. So I wanna be gentle first. Then after I, I see the shape of the nose, then I'll be able to figure out where I want my dark tones and my light tones at. So I'm basically just mapping it out. That's all I'm doing right now. Next, I do want to focus on the on the nose here on this area. Make it sharp as, as sharp as I can. I want to make sure that it's sharp. That way I don't have to, uh, because there is a really light tone here. So I want to make sure that, that this stands out. Okay, now that I see the shape, I'm going to start slowly transitioning to my lightest gray. Just go from your medium grade to your light grade. <laughs> as far as this area here, it's a little too bright for me, so I, I dipped it back on my medium gray, and I'm just gonna brush it, because I, I don't want it to be too bright. And slowly transition into my light gray, so by the time I reach the highlight area, it's the perfect tone. There you go. Guarachera hermosa. I am gonna make this highlight a little bit thinner. I feel like it's way too thick. So I definitely wanna make it a little bit smaller and brush the skin. The reason why I don't add too much to my stencils it is because 
Uh, it makes me feel frustrated knowing that I have to follow every single little line rather than me looking at the whole thing and customizing little things here and there. Sometimes the reference doesn't really translate the same on skin, so I definitely uh, like to make those changes as I'm tattooing because I'm looking at it on skin, so I, I don't want to feel limited on things that I can do to make sure that it stands out better on skin. So I adjust lighting, I adjust highlights, contrast, I add you know, little things here and there. And there you go, I'm gonna go ahead and continue doing the same thing, same process across the whole nose. Thank you so much for coming back and watching this brand new video. I really appreciate you. Um, this project took about 20 hours and it was a lot of hours. I mean, at that point, her arm was swollen, you know, but she was sitting like a rock. She, uh, she definitely got a little bit of shivers towards the end. And all she did was get a little sugar in her body and she was good to go and finish off this massive project. But uh, I'm really happy with this. Very creative, very original, and I, I'm, I'm really happy with the outcome. So with that being said, if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.